You're watching the mailbox. Don't forget our website, by the way. It's called islammailbox.com, where you can write your questions and you know, see some of the answers that we've had up already. Here's the one that says, Why is Christianity the most preferred religion? If there's such a thing as Allah and his people are Muslims, and why isn't their religion the number one if he's the God of the universe? How come Christianity is number one? Well, that's a very good question. Actually, we as Muslims agree that the original teachings of Christianity were absolutely the same teachings as Islam is today. The problem is that after a period of time, it came away from the main teachings, and so Allah sends another messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the same message. And that is to worship God without partners, that God is not a trinity, God is not a man, God is not a son of man, but rather that Allah is the owner and creator of the whole universe and all the praise and worship is for him alone. That's what we have to understand as Muslim. Now, in addition to that, we had mentioned too that Christianity isn't necessarily the biggest religion anyway today. I don't know if you know this, but the Catholic Church recently released some documents and statistics saying that Islam has now passed the Catholic Church, which of course was the largest of the Christian denominations, passed them up in population some time ago. However, this is totally unimportant and it's irrelevant because what was important is to know what the true religion of God really is, and that's to do what he wants you to do. There may be people today who are calling themselves Christians that are more Muslim than they are Christian. And there are some maybe think they're Jewish, but they're maybe more Muslim than they are Jewish because to be a true Muslim is to understand there is only one God and then to want to do what he wants you to do, submitting to him, obeying his commandments, and doing this in peace regardless of the outcome. That's what the word Islam means, and one who does it is a mu Islam, Muslim. Oh, we have another one. Okay, it just came in. And it is asking, can you prove that the Quran is as pure as the Bible. Well, first of all, the Bible no longer exists today in its original form. It is not existing extant anywhere on the planet. There is no one who even recites the whole Bible in the original Aramaic for the New Testament or Hebrew for the Old Testament. The second part of that is that the Quran is today in its original form in recitation. Whereas Bible means a book, that's what the meaning of the word is, the word Quran means that which is being recited. And recitation of Quran is still there today just as it was 1400 years ago. So the Bible is not the criterion to measure against. The problem here is the Bible can't hold up to the proofs of the Quran. You can get more about this on our website as I mentioned to you, islammailbox.com. Until next time, that's the mailbox for today. Hello.